Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 11th, 2020. Well, everyone, I apologize. This is going to be very late this morning. I woke up this morning, turned on my computer, and apparently my computer had updated. Messed up all of my sound and uh, video um, settings, so... Um, I'm starting from scratch here, and I apologize that this is going to be much later than normal. Let's um, take a look at what's going on this morning. First off, uh, last night we had futures looking a little bit positive, but now this morning they have turned slightly negative with everyone um, kind of worrying about what the recovery is going to look like. And honestly, it's not that big a surprise. We've kind of been in a... Super Bowl market where, well, honestly, um, there's a, a been a, a declining breadth of the market and we've had just really a few of the market leaders pushing the market higher. So we're getting a little pullback this morning, not a big deal. But let's take a look at what that means. First off, we were, we were up here testing this upper range of resistance. So let me push this line just a little bit higher. We're up here testing this upper range that we've been in on the diamonds here for a while, pushing that range, and now we're going to get a little bit of a pullback. So no big deal. We're kind of giving back a little bit of Friday's rally, but not a major concern, um, at least at this point, and actually probably a wise thing um, in the sense that our NASDAQ has been up so far um, that it probably needs a little bit of rest. So. I'm honestly not too surprised by this. What's going to be unfortunate is the range of this move. If we really start to sink, it, just dropping down into here is a significant move here on the diamonds. Let's go to the Dow. Uh, Dow. Take a look at that. If we were to drop from Friday's high just down to this level of support right in here, notice that's um, about 1,700 points. That would be pretty rough if that were the case. Now, if we drop from here and drop just right down into this level of support right in here, we've all, we're, all, we're dropping about 900 points um, in that move if we drop down into there. So still a pretty painful drop for a lot of folks. Um, and that's just one of the things this, this range in the market has been very wide and well, we are a little bit over um, overbought at the moment, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. So let's move on here. Let's take a look at the SPY. Oh, by the way, if we look at the technicals here, as you can see, we're above our 50-day moving average, so even a pullback into there doesn't really hurt us technically, but would um, actually probably set up an opportunity for us um, in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY holding up pretty well. Uh, been really, really strong here um, of late, and just notice that we are going to pull back a little bit this morning. We're going to give up a bit of that Friday move. If we pull back into support right here, pretty significant pullback but that'll still keep us above that 50-day moving average and one thing I think is encouraging as you can see is that 50-day moving average is actually starting to flatten and turn and it's turning right here at this little level of price support that we see in the chart where we picked up some support so even a pullback here really doesn't hurt us technically in the chart and probably needs to occur let's take a look at um, the cues qqq very very strong here has been extremely strong as a matter of fact and it's going to get a little bit of a pullback this morning nothing major and um, with this trend being so strong actually needed a little rest or a little pullback just kind of going straight up here the last five days a little pullback in here won't hurt us at all unless there's some ugly news or something out there that causes some problems let's take a look at IWM IWM also uh, gonna get a little bit of a pullback this morning as you can see popped up strong on Friday but just pulling back here slightly one of the things that kind of is hurting IWM is that the uh, financials have not been moving up in the market and I 
I mentioned this last night in a class I do on Sunday evenings, is that um, I don't think I've ever seen a market um, move up, break out uh, to new highs, those kind of things, without the financials participating. And they really have not been participating in this market. If we take a look at XLF here, you can see just kind of hanging in here. They really haven't been following along with the rest of the market. So it'll be interesting to see what those financials do. And I think there's some big concerns about loan defaults and uh, things going on there in the financial sector that may keep that a little subdued for a while. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX has been pulling back, and I mentioned this last night, how we're pulling back into a level of support here, uh, price support. You can see all these uh, little pop-ups here that we've had uh, testing these areas of uh, resistance before and now that becomes support so as we rest and pull back here notice we've got our 200 day moving average below that but this morning we're likely going to see the VIX pop up just a little bit a little fear coming into the market wouldn't be surprised if we still test this area and maybe even move on down to that 200 here before we really get any kind of a rally up now keep in mind that we do have a resistance level here in this downtrend and if we push up toward here that's where we're going to run into to some concerns if we actually push through that level hold it as support that's where the real selling might come in so Let's watch that close. Hopefully, at least at this point, we're not indicating um, any major sell-off. So maybe just a little bit of a rise in fear. Let's take a look at uh, T2122. T2122 is the four-week new high, new low ratio. This one I do have a little bit of concern over. And the fact that we have rallied, we went from right here all the way back up in just a couple of days and we're up here in that bearish reversal zone and if you look at t2122 it's very very consistent um, anytime we push up beyond a certain level we kind of expect a little rest or pullback so we're getting that this morning nothing major but a little pullback in here not out of the question now keep in mind t2122 doesn't necessarily signal when a pullback is going to occur just gives us that warning that we might be getting a little bit stretched in the price action and also keep in mind that this doesn't necessarily mean that we're just going to sink um, we could actually bounce around in here on t21 for a bit and we've done that before um, in the past we've even about made that bouncing around up here in this area so we can hold up to the upside of this this doesn't necessarily mean we're going to sink back hard so kind of keep that in mind let's take a look at um our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar really doesn't have a whole lot going on today to really move us around you can see we do have a fed speaker here at about 12 30. other than that not much here um, on the calendar for today we do have significant numbers later on as the week goes on that we'll want to pay attention to but not much going on here with uh, today's calendar now on the earnings front we have a big day of earnings we have over 400 earnings reports today almost over 450 actually earnings re reports today and more than i can really um truly cover but a few of them that i've pulled out here that might be notable take a look at mar mar is holding a level of support been kind of locked into a range here uh, between support and resistance it's going to report today we'll have to wait and see um, how that goes uh, Marriott obviously with so many hotels being shut down that may be a little bit of a challenge here in the market if we take a look um, SPG SPG is also reporting today a real estate uh, trust I don't know how real estate is really going to hold out, particularly anything in a commercial property might be a little bit challenged here. But what we see here in SPG has been rising in a little bit of a trend, but been kind of locked into more of a wedging type pattern. So it's going to report today and it looks like it's gapping just a little bit lower, may test that support down in here. Um, so let's keep an eye on that. 
that. We also have Caesar's Palace. Can't type this morning. Caesar's Palace, um, it's gonna be reporting today. Um, the casinos are um, trying to get reopened here. You can see we're opening in this range and this has been in a very, very tight consolidation. It's what I call a pop out of the box. When you can draw a range around a box that's very, very small. Um, these are some of uh, the best trades I ever get um, if they hold into a trend. Now, because this is earnings, not much you can do here, but a pop out of the box, um, if they break above that box, what it's saying here is there's no sellers below this level. And it's also telling us that there's no buyers above this level. If we get an inspiration one way or another where we fail that box or pop through that box can be a great opportunity of a trade. And you can see it just, it happened right in here. There's that tight range consolidation right in here. We pop out and nice profitable trade following the trend. So keep an eye on Caesar's Palace today. We also have uh, Cliffs Naturals. Cliffs Natural reporting this morning. Um, let's keep an eye on that. Looks like at the moment it's opening. Um, actually, I'm not sure it reports this morning. I think I said that, but um, um, opening about where it closed on Friday. Has that resistance to be worried about? Has a um, little wedge pattern here that we're dealing with? So this could go either direction. Keep an eye on that. Energy transfer is another ET. Nice little consolidating move that it's been doing here the last few days. Holding up in here, energy transfer in this nice little consolidation and also a little bit of a pennant type pattern showing up here that could certainly pop either direction what's nice that it is holding its trend so worth keeping an eye on here how about nio i mean ino 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 is going to be reporting this morning looks like it's gapping a little bit higher here this has been at a nice trend i know there's been a lot of folks trading this um, Holding in this little pattern, we've got this resistance where we ran into this and pulled back pretty hard. Let's keep an eye on this. If this continues to maintain this trend, there may be opportunity in that chart. Uh, TLRY, those cannabis stocks might get a little bit of a lift today. As you can see, we've got a, an alert, um, a trade potentially coming here as well in TLRY if we can break out of these resistance highs. We've got to get through there and it may be an earnings report that gets us moving. Now, of course, this could fail in this area as well. We'll want to keep an eye on that chart. Um, how about UAA? Under Armour reported some pretty bad numbers today saying their um, Sales dropped by about 25% because of the coronavirus, and that's probably not too big of a surprise. Textiles um, were having trouble even getting um, product there for a while out of China, and then um, having stores shut down. You can certainly understand that. So UAA struggling here this morning, pushing back down to this little uptrend. Let's see if it can hold in here. Um, at all, but we're challenged by some upside resistance and it's not looking too good overall. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click those thumbs up buttons if um, you felt that this video was worthy and um, help you figure out how you might want to approach the market for the day. Once again, I want to apologize. This video was late this morning. It was out of my control. But hopefully um, you get something out of this. I would like to um, ask you guys if um, this is um, a video that helped you at all, if you could leave a brief description. It helps us um, 
or a brief comment. It helps us continue to grow the channel, and I want to say thank you to everyone who does do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up here, and there are a lot of potential stocks. I mean, and just about everywhere you look, there's good trends. First, I'm going to say anything right now in oil. If you take a look at a stock like APA, you can see I've got an alert on this. This is not a good optionable trade. Um, but it is a good potential upside move. And we look at um, APA, you can look at ExxonMobil, you can look at CVX. Pretty much anything in oil has been looking really good. MRO, SLB, all of these stocks have been in these little upside trends moving to the upside. Um, trying to break through some resistance levels some some are stuck in a level and even if we look at xlf or xle i've been holding xle for some time now have a great profit in this um, they've been doing really well now i would suspect that there's going to be some kind of a pullback in these soon so kind of keep that in mind but energy has been really really strong it might be a place to be watching for that next uh, move up take a look at kroger guys kroger pop the alert on Friday that we talked about. This may still consolidate a bit. And what I uh, mentioned last night is this could still pull back or dance around in here a little bit, moving over to trend before it really takes off. But let's keep an eye on this. Obviously, we all need groceries. And Kroger has done quite well during the coronavirus situation. So keep an eye on that stock. PAYS, this is one that was kind of an interesting chart setting up and it popped and alerted and then failed with a big, ugly, bearish engulfing candle. But the good news part of this is so far it hasn't broken that support. So if this can continue to hold that support in here, this has that opportunity to recover and move by, back up. But this could also set itself up as a nice short pattern if we fail through that support. So keep an eye. This one could go either direction here on um, PAYS. Another one, um, iRobot. iRobot popped the alert last week. And if you guys were paying attention to the morning videos, uh, mentioned this. This popped out looking strong here. This morning it looks like it's going to open just a, well, about where it closed. Trying to move on up here, but looking really good on um, iRobot. Take a look at Wayfair. Wayfair popped through on its earnings report, went right on up here holding a nice trend. I wouldn't want to chase this here because it's a little bit far removed from a stop, but a little bit of consolidation or a little bit of continued rest over here toward the trend would be a opportunity to maybe pick up a piece of Wayfair. It's looking really, really strong and very much benefited from the... Um, uh, coronavirus as everyone was buying online. Take a look at NLOK. NLOK has been dancing around in this area, <laughs> consolidating over toward its um, trend. And as you can see here, has a nice upside potential move if it can catch some buyers in here. May struggle here this morning with the market being a little bit um, squishy here this morning could easily see that pullback and break of that support and that would kick it off of there as that possibility how about Valero energy Valero looking really strong on Friday pushing up into a little bit of price resistance of the chart here soon but Valero looking very good those refiners staying very very strong take a look at DOCU now DOCU popped the alert last week and just ran hard needs a little rest or pullback but if it does pull back into trend or consolidate over to trend could have some more upside opportunities so keep an eye on that chart last but not least I'm going to talk about tractor supply here tractor supply popped our alert last week moving on up you can see we've got a resistance high up here that we will have to pay attention to keep an eye on this as this moves in this trend if this consolidates underneath this level and holds up here, there is that possibility it could pop through. Keep an eye on tractor supply. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And I apologize. I'm a little bit um, 
Got a little allergy thing going on this morning. I apologize for the way I sound and also apologize for the lateness of the video. I want to wish you guys all the very, very best and we'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Hopefully no more Windows updates causing problems. Y'all take care. Have a great day. We'll see you right back here.